team what's happening it's alex gem yet again this video is essential i mean uh, as you guys if you're familiar with my material you know i've i've tried all kinds of diets i know i hate that term um i've tried all kinds of eating programs and uh eating lifestyle so to speak and for my body type i'm primarily an i would i'd say endomorph in that uh i put on both muscle and fat quite easily um so I just I just look at a burger and I'm like in in a good and a bad way. So um, for me, I've tried all kinds of different eating plans, and a low carb diet is very effective. But what's even more effective for me personally is the ketogenic lifestyle. It's actually the best eating program out there for supporting cognitive development. I'll move on to that shortly as well. So I'm a big fan of keto. Ever since I've started keto over the last couple of years, I've noticed a profound difference in terms of the consistency of my body type as well. So let me break down a couple of uh, distinctions for you so that you understand what keto actually is and, and so that you can figure out whether it suits you or not because your lifestyle, what you do for a living and how often you train are compulsory and it will determine whether or not keto is for you. And keto, uh, just the same as every kind of eating plan, is not for everyone. Everyone's different. Everybody's body works differently. Everyone's got a different kind of occupation, different lifestyle, different cognitive needs and so on and so forth. So let's look at keto. So what is keto? Keto is essentially when the body starts to use fat as fuel because carbohydrates and thus glu glucose are not available. Um, so it can take between two to five days to uh, deplete all of your carbohydrates within your muscles, within your liver and so on and so forth. Only when that happens, that's when your body starts to use uh, fats for fuel and energy. Um, and so that's when you enter ketosis, ketosis, essentially. So I know what you're thinking. You're thinking things along the lines of, well, you know, if carbohydrates are typically like four calories per gram and consuming fats are essentially nine calories per gram and doesn't it make sense that you know the fewer fats you consume the more you lose weight it doesn't quite work that way um, because you now you're looking at things like efficiency and uh, per gram you actually use more energy if you have consumed more fats but that's only if you're in a ketogenic following the ketogenic lifestyle, the strict lifestyle. And it's very easy to fluctuate into that gray area between living low carb and living in keto. Um, they are different and it's very important for you to get that right balance, choose one or the other essentially. That middle ground can lead to like nausea and feeling a little unwell and those sort of things. But we're not here to put you off keto for crying out loud. Uh, it's wonderful. So let me explain why it's wonderful because um, what happens when you enter ketosis is that your brain no longer utilizes glucose to kind of think and to do all its processes, okay? Uh, instead, it turns to ketones, uh, especially one beta hydroxybutyrate. And it's a very powerful ketone and it's used for energy and it supports cognitive function massively. And I think that's one of the main reasons why people really notice a great sense of clarity. Not only that, but a ketogenic lifestyle, along with intermittent fasting and a calorie restricted diet, what these things do is they, they coalesce and they, they work synergistically to support the stimulation of something called BDNF, which is um, brain derived neurotropic factors. So this is brilliant for brain function essentially. So what BDNF is produced uh, primarily in the hippocampus, but also in your uh, basal forebrain and in your cortex as well. So the reason why we want to stimulate BDNF is because it enables you to kind of make more connections between your neurons within your brain, uh, essentially coming up with new beliefs, new thought patterns. And it also enables you to strengthen the synapses between the neurons. So that basically things become far more clear, your thoughts are clearer and so on and so forth. And uh, BDNF actually stimulates the ability to Function like a sponge in terms of being able to come up with new ideas, be more creative, be more thoughtful, uh, have more certainty and clarity and so on and so forth. So BDNF is brilliant to stimulate and keto, a ketogenic lifestyle producing ketones um, is one massive way of supporting that as well. So keto is brilliant. Now, is keto for everyone? The, the challenge is here. If you are an endurance practitioner or you don't train that often then keto is definitely for you. 
If you are someone who does lots of like sprinting, explosive movements, lifting insanely heavy weights, then ketone might not be for you because you might notice that you're not as strong when following a ketogenic lifestyle. It's just the way it is. Now, if you are a performance-based athlete, you do it for like you're a professional athlete, uh, and therefore every like millisecond counts, every movement is really, really uh, insignificant, then I don't think keto will support you necessarily unless you're in your off season, for instance, in which case it can. And a lot of people are thinking, will keto make me lose my size and so on and so forth? Uh, no, a ketogenic lifestyle actually supports muscle growth. And like I said earlier, uh, mental stimulation. So it can actually make you more intelligent, creating newer neurons, That's which is called neurogenesis. It supports these things. So uh, in terms of aesthetically, the way you look, keto is magnificent for you. In terms of performing at your optimum, it might not be perfect. So it depends on your lifestyle and so on and so forth. So definitely look into keto further. I've done numerous videos on uh, what a ketogenic diet looks like. And I'll tell you another thing. This is, I'm glad I remember this. I'll give you another reason why um, keto supports brain function. I'll break it down very specifically. Once I also outline the importance of visiting my website at www.alexgem.com if you're finding this of value, uh, just click join SPM today, uh, you'll gain instant access to my amazing course and the ridiculous bonuses. Combined, it's worth $2,000. I'm not selling it for that. I'm not even selling it for $1,000. I'm not even selling it for $500. You're, you're going to be blown away by the value and the price, and you'll be able to get glimpses into the sections within certain modules. So just when you're on the sales page, just have a look there, and, and you'll get to try before you buy, so to speak. Uh, so I think you're going to absolutely love it when you visit there. And also make sure you get my book, SPM, The Six Pack Mind, which you can find at Amazon as well. So let's bring it back. So why am I saying that um, the ketogenic lifestyle and um, having eating certain foods that support brain function kind of go hand in hand? Because I'm about to write out a list. And these are, these are neuroprotective foods. So these are foods that actually support brain functions and keep your brain functioning very well. So neuroprotective foods. Um, let's, turmeric is one. Turmeric's a wonderful herb. Um, turmeric is one. You've got wild salmon. You've got broccoli. You've got avocados. Um, what else you've got? You've got um, dark leafy greens. You've got eggs. And you've got olive oil. You've got avocado oil for that, name, uh, for that as well. You've got coconut oil. You've got many, many different kinds. These are the foods that definitely stimulate brain function and help you look after existing neurons and can actually help to stimulate new brain growth as well. So which ones essentially fall perfectly in keto? Well, that does. This might have a, you know, a little, little bit on the uh, higher carbs, but broccoli should still be okay. Avocado is fantastic. Avocado oil, oil is brilliant. Um, uh, dark green leaves are fine. Eggs are great. Olive oil is great. Coconut oil is great. Uh, essentially, all of them. So the main reason I wanted to point this out to you is that eating a, a, a diet that is primarily keto will also directly protect the neurons in your brain. So I've shared with you many, many copious reasons why you should definitely consider a ketogenic lifestyle. Give it a go, see how it works for your body, see how you react. And yeah, I look forward to hearing how it goes. Again, make sure you visit my website at www.alexgem.com. Simply click join SPM today or join my mastermind and or join my university, a four day program to rewire your brain, to, to help you to understand the feedback loops between your thoughts, your emotions, your behaviors, to change your relationship with food, to just be, to reduce stress significantly, to make sure your neurotransmitters are functioning, to make sure you're experiencing new things as a way of changing your behaviours, your uh, subconscious programs, so that you can essentially eat more cleanly more often and enjoy eating more cleanly for that matter, so that you can exercise at your optimum, so that you can sleep even better, so that you know what you should and shouldn't be doing as well, the mechanics that's included as well. Like you're going to be blown away by the offers I have. Just visit my website, have a look, take what you like, and also make sure you like this video if you found it of value as well. And I look forward to working with you very soon.